95th Congress, Second Session, Committee Print, Weather Modifications, Programs, Problems, Policy, and Potential, prepared at the request of Honorable Howard W. Cannon, Chairman Committee on Senate Science and Transportation in the United States Senate, May 1978. Weather Modification. What does the U.S. Senate say about weather modification? The federal government has been involved for over 30 years in a number of aspects of weather modification through activities of both Congress and the executive branch since 1947 weather modification bills pertaining to the research total of six public laws. What we're trying to show you here, folks, is geoengineering regard with to biological implications of weather modifications the Commission stated that there should be a strong effort to bring the field of biological forecasting up to a higher level of usefulness in order to improve biological forecasting. Several approaches, in other words, they have no idea what they're doing. Defense Department aircraft work all weather patterns in the mid-Atlantic states. One section of heavy concentration is the southern tier of Pennsylvania counties. On and on this report goes. There is no question that during the dry season, cloud seeding aggravates conditions to produce drought, and during wet cycle, it triggers more rain. In other words, they are screwing with the farmers of this country. In recent, it talks about cloud seeding has been responsible for the great five-year drought in the northeast United States. Isolated sections in the northeast have experienced 18 years of drought due to cloud seeding. Weather distributions in the South Atlantic have been eliminated and they, and they reduced the East Coast rainfall by 30 percent. Rain that is needed if agriculture is to be successful. The average dairy farmer on the East Coast living in the area of the cloud seeding has average net financial loss because of cloud seeding. In other words, the government has purposely decreased agricultural values. Crop production losses in Franklin County, Pennsylvania alone have amounted to 50 million. When effects of seeding wear off, cloudbursts occur, causing floods, destroying crops, buildings, and drowning people, as well as livestock. Seeding has been responsible for the serious air pollution problems. Mental retardation and insanity are traceable to cloud seeding chemicals. Poisoning of all living matter is directly related to, related to cloud seeding. Emphysema is three times higher in areas of heavy cloud seeding. Cancer is virulently out of proportion. Financial losses to agriculture and related industries run into billions. Forest trees as well as cultivated orchids are dying from changing reactions taking place in the air due to additional cloud seeding agents. The atmosphere has been rendered completely biologically incapable of all living matter, which includes animals and plants. In other words, they're killing us purposely. The rest of the world is going to be very, very angry. The United States has been the world leader in weather modification research and operations, particularly since World War II, following the historical discoveries of Schaefer and others. Nevertheless, other countries have also been active in the field, notably among which the Soviet Union. Activities in this country, as well as those of some other nations with larger programs, will be discussed in later section of this, of this chapter. Folks, the United States is the leader in weather modification. If a drought or severe storm occurs after the weather modification attempts have occurred, issues concerning liability for damages may arise. These issues would include causation as well as the application of the numbers of theories of tort recovery, including nuisance, strict liability, trespass, and negligence. Other bases of liability might be present depending on the particular facts and circumstances. In other words... Ten state statutes were found that discuss liability for weather modification. These statutes vary widely. Yet the government hasn't paid anybody a dime for modifying their weather. In other words, folks, geoengineering is destroying us, and the government isn't paying out for the destruction. The increased activity in weather modification worldwide has resulted in increasing complaints of perceived or potential damage to the environment both domestically and internationally. For example, during 1975, at the time when the U.S. government was supporting research activities to modify the strength of hurricanes, 
The U.S. government was supporting research activities to modify strength of hurricanes. Folks, didn't we just have Hurricane, hurricane Patricia with 215-mile-an-hour winds? Let me read this again 40 years ago. For example, during the 1975, at the time when the U.S. government was supporting research activities to modify strength of hurricanes, although not actually seeding hurricanes, they were using things other than seeding. The United States government admits to seeding hurricanes. They talk about the liability of the U.S. government, but they haven't paid a dime to these farmers. National Weather Modification Policy Act. That's, su that's been superseded. Economic aspects of weather modification. Folks, it's all here. Weather Modification Program Problems Policy and Potential. This is a United States Senate report you can get from the United States Senate. Again, 95th Congress. Second session, committee print, weather modification, programs, policies, problems, policies, and potential. Folks, thank you for watching. I want to wish you the best, and good night, and God bless, and now it's true. The United States Congress is involved in complete weather modification and geoengineering. Thank you, and good night.